Welcome back, guys. So, today we're going to go over a little update on uh, what we've been doing for the last couple weeks and where we're at on how the base sits now. <coughs> so, I stopped doing a lot of my testing on my main and started moving over to my alts. And the reason why I wanted to move over to the alts is my alts have different levels of power level as well as um, building health. So what we started to do was do testing from uh, the lowest possible building health up until around the middle to a more realistic at level. Um, I think we ended up with I think about halfway up yeah I think we're about halfway up let me check out the wall real quick yeah we're halfway up um a little under um and we needed to do that because of wave four now wave four was a bit rough um when all of your builds are one tap um they just straight disappear. You know what I'm saying? They, they'll rip right through. Um, so we found that about 500 was the lowest you can go on a wall um, where the tornado wouldn't take it out. So uh, this will leave it around 10 HP. <laughs> so, But it does leave it there. So this is... Uh, is for our build, we found that the lowest you can go on the wall health was around 500. No trap durability. Uh, tech is fucking nothing. Um, to be honest with you, I, I don't even think it's 100. Um, it, it's pretty low. Um, we made a few changes. Um, we're going to go over them soon. Um, and uh, explain why we made them and uh, all that jazz. But since this is an update video, we're going to go through all the amps just like we did before. But unlike our part one video, we're going to spend more emphasis on the south and not the north. So let's go ahead and talk about some changes we did. Now, in the north, we finally figured out how to get rid of our problem here. Now, before, I believe we had something like this. We were able to take those out. And what we did was add in a floor here. And that allowed us to not lose our tar pit. Now, um... If you needed help on placing those floors, what we did was basically took our floor and we did this. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can also use a cone. Cones work too. We're just going to go ahead and drop ourselves into first person mode real quick, okay? And we're going to open our pickaxe. And we're going to find some sort of wall trap. This will work. And we're going to pull out our pickaxe again. And look all the way down. Until it's right off the edge. See? And what we're going to do is we're going to jump. Press our trap button. And place all at the same time. So, whoop. And there we go. Now... You're like, well, yeah, you can, of course you can put a wall there. Okay. Same thing here. Okay, let's go ahead and pull all these out. And just drop a cone, right? Same thing. Now, like I said. Okay. And that allowed us to stop the hus from basically beating on our floor. That's what we did there. Go ahead and pull back out of here real quick. 
very good easy fix there in brick to show me um doesn't need to be in brick it doesn't really matter another thing we did was we added uh three impact to reload uh, wall pushers and some all durability tar pits and the reason why is when the hus needed to finish their pathing, they needed to walk on the other side of the first before they can continue on. And the problem would be is that some of them, if you're AFK out there, on wave 21 and 26, they would be on the RBB that was here. So, um, we switched it to standard block. And we added these. And I've never had a problem on my home base um, to where I ever really had to change it. But when I went down to zero health, holy shit, did AFK spots make a difference. Um, I've never had to make a difference before, but when your walls are 11,500 and you fucking a husk got a beat on it for 10 minutes before it does any damage... Yeah, I mean, of course, I can AFK wherever I want. It would never made a difference. But when the tiny husk can beat on a wall and hit it one time and it fucking disappears, that makes a big difference. So, in the case of the low health and just making things a lot more solid, and <coughs> don't get me wrong, my main, I occasionally you know, losing uh, on a wave just randomly, and I always chalked it up to twine being twine until I realized that it was just random husks beating on things, you know, and I never would have found them without zero health, so good good testing all. I'm really proud of uh, trying that. Uh, War Games is always another good testing and really tell a lot what's going on with them. Um, but that really helped. I don't believe we made any changes to our ramp. Um, we still are running 7 and 5. Normal walls in there. Um, so that seems to be fine. We did add... Nope, we took that out. Okay, so it's just that. That's good. I guess we'll just go check Ridge real quick. Now, Ridge, we added a sound wall with two reload, three durability, effect duration, and that's because a flinger would fling from here. Um, really helped out with that. Um, now, the problem with the flinger, if you have low building health where one flinger can just obliterate everything instantly if you lose one of your seven pluses your lobbers will attack your block off so we added was that one two three four five six lobbers seven lobbers and then there's the eight we have up to like eight lobbers lobbing on some shit and as much as we always tried to make things very minimal for low building health, it became a problem. So we added them on top. Um, they're just a standard double range, double reload for the lobbers. Not a huge fan of it, but um, it really, really helped solidify a lot of runs without losing. Another big problem we're having is we don't know how to shift our freeze traps off of our off of our thing. What I mean by that is taking a freeze trap and floating it over over here. And it's really hard to do and I haven't found a good way to teach you guys yet. Um, it requires slowing it down and all sorts of shit to get it to float over here. Because you can have a blaster beat this out. Um, I'm still working on it. 
once we have a good method that to teach somebody that isn't so hard. Now, some of you guys are having difficulties with, um, let's say, point nines. I heard, and the reason why you guys are having troubles with your point nines is because you have to release the trap before you move. So for me, I can press and hold my trap button, and it's not going to place it. Now, as soon as I let go, it places. Okay? Now, up here, what I do is I'm holding it, but I let go before I move. And by doing that... Hold on. Wow. Oh, shit. Hey, guys, I'm missing. Can't beat that. There we go. So, if I accidentally place the trap on the ground, okay, here, I knew that I moved before I released it, or I'm releasing it too late. Now, what you want to have happen is nothing. That means you're doing good. That means you're releasing it before you're moving, but you might be moving too slowly after you released it, so, you know what I'm saying? And then once you figure out the timing of when to release it and when not to, you'll, you'll be able to start nailing them dead on. Um, if you don't do them for a few days, you get a little rusty, but after you get a couple of them, you just, see I released that one a little late. You just get really fast at it, and, it, and it's, it's just nuts. Or maybe I wanted to do, like, a little one, right? Over here, let's try that. Here we go. Yeah, I just wanted to bring it up just a little bit. You know what I mean? It's all possible. Same thing with, like, this. Alright, let's say I'm under a map. You know what I'm saying? It's just an easy flick out throw. But, so, just good helpful tips. Um, when I get this one down really, really easy for us, I, I will explain it. And for people that don't know what that looks like, I'm going to go ahead and head over to D for Devil real quick. Just so we can show you, because we still have one on the map. And... We put one under as a point nine to show you for our build, but we still ended up with one up here. Now, I'm trying to figure out a good way to show it to you. Until I can get a good way, we don't have them on our base, except that one just to show. But I'm working on it, and I am sorry. It's not impossible to do, and I could show you, but it's, it's going to be difficult. Pain the ass. I'll be sitting here for a half hour fucking with it. Dead ass. And nobody needs a, an, like an hour video to show them how to float one tile versus something I can show you in two seconds. Once I can get it down to like a good under 15 seconds consistently, 8 out of 10 times, we're going to put them in a video. Um, so that should be all of our ridge... Um, changes. Um, oop, no it's not. I apologize. We added a wall. And a wall light. This wall light is 4 impact, 1 reload effect duration. And that pushes our smashers over. And then this one's 2 on 2, 2 impact, 2 reload, 2 durability. And then same thing for these. I believe those are still in the video. Um, I believe we might have switched these over to devs. Um, you don't need them. They can be like this. I think we are using dev free. Um, at the time, I didn't have the wall light in and the smashers to get them to fall off. Um, also, I was doing testing where from spawn and things like that, and it became an issue. 
Um, so, and since I do a lot of my testing with using both of my alts in here, it makes it difficult moving them one at a time. So, for the extra, sometimes I get up out the baby and I'll be in them like wave four and I'm still at home base and uh, everything's a bitch, even wave two. Let's see here, yeah, that should cover that. Um, Pit, we went ahead and added. Um, for wave 11 and 21, we had to add in a couple extra anti airs, and that is because our amp design would disappear during our tornado when we were testing no builds. So they were really necessary. Um, we also had some odd shit. We had a husk stand right here and beat something. So we added in our tire trap. Now, um, basically we just stuck a stair off of our pee block, put two out, two over, and there's 69 drop points. They are low damage, double reload, all durability, and we were facing the west when we placed them. And it kept any of our little husks from beating on these because if they hit it one time, they would disappear. Um, we did the same thing up here. Same traps. Um, and that covers pit. Now, for our bridge, we did add a couple of these wood ones. They assisted for the wave 21. Um, we've also in the past just had two wall darts here. Now, the problem with that is with this build, if we shoot a husk, we piss off the smasher and he'll smack through there. So we're unable to kill him. So if you get that rare fucking thing where it's just odd uh, depending on your random waves and your aggro and your tech levels and all that shit it just depends on the lava bomb coming down and what hus dies you might fucking want these so they're optional um, we did add this one in and that is definitely for that amp again assists this one as well um, we added a two sound walls I don't know if they're in our video, but just in case they're not, the sound walls we have added are one of them is on the right is two reload, all durability. And the second one is two reload, one being blue on the left, all durability. Um, these drop traps that are down here, uh, they don't need to be there. Again, our tornado was taking out our shit. Um, I used anything I had with increased building health. Um, I would have used a gas trap, but the only one I had was heals. And I think, yeah, that's what I had. It, it was just for the six perk. No hostages going down here, but it helped for when the tornado would come through because I need the husk to be able to walk to here. And if it took out this floor, shift, this floor right here, then they couldn't walk walk through. And I needed a little bit of wall health. So we got them up to 5,000 by adding the increased building health in the tornado zone. Um, but at the time, this guy's midway through, so it would have put him at probably around 11 or 1,200 because the tornado hits him a few times. And it'll take 500 every time it hits it. Um, so. Shit sucked. So this this gives it. There was this. They're like leftovers. Um, I'll remove them later, as if I remember. But um, if your bridge is being decimated by your tornado, it's an option. I <laughs> sure as fuck took it. <laughs> they have a choice. Um, so that covers that. Now let's move on to wave five and six, which is Devil. Now Devil 
we were having a little bit of issues with. Um, a lot of it tended on our AFK spot and low building health. If you remember in our video, I said building health mattered on the walls. And fuck, man, they do. But I found out where they don't. Now, I like this because now our smashers can walk straight through here. And I believe we had a wall here and a wall here. So if you take your wall out, take your wall out, and then take a dev stair, just like that, and put a floor down. I don't know if the floor is in there um, in our video, but this, stop anything from walking in there and, and fucking that up. Now, if you end up with a hoss that hits your stair, you're more than welcome to take a shit spike. And put it down. We don't want to fucking hurt anything. We don't want a propane fucking blowing that up. So that's a thing. If you have a propane that blows up because of your floor spike, you have a wall here that can take a salvo. Okay? Not a problem. I would wait until it blows up. Personally, I wouldn't have put the spike down unless I had something take it out. So, it is what it is. I'm going to leave it in there and do a couple testing runs on it because I am like that. If something changes or anything happens, we're going to we'll bring it to your attention. All right, next. Okay, we were noticing... Um, the amplifier if it got one tapped from ridge so wave 2 12 and 22 the husks getting pushed over might fuck up this bridge and if you lose your 7 plus we all know what the lobbers do they go fucking nuts so we added um, anti airs to the very top of our builds here um, just to alleviate any lobbers trying to throw. The beautiful part is, is that you'll get a few of them to throw, and once their heads are getting blown off by the anti-airs, they'll actually just reset and walk the path to the, uh, to the amp, trying to get a better position to, to throw. So that's a good thing. We don't need a fucking ton of them. I know you're thinking, what the fuck you mean, dude? There's like six of them there. I think one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's fucking six of them there. That's already a ton. Well, that only handles three lobbers, man. I mean, get fucked up. Wave 12, uh, 11, and 21 with like fucking eight of those things. It's nuts. Um, so that really helped. Now, another one. Uh, it was a fucking nature wave. Um, wave six on the west. Uh, if you get them really weird and aggroed because of a low building health, if you have something attached to it, and what we had was a tar pit and a, uh, uh, wall dart. Well, it was connected to our fucking P-block, and it was pissing them off. So they would take it out. Um, the P-block, I mean. So what we did is we took them out, and this is an all-impact, five-impact wall pusher to push the flinger that phases through back. So we're going to go ahead and take these two uh, traps out of here. Um, now, on my main, it doesn't cause me a problem, but maybe like once every 20 runs. But on all of my alts, it became a fucking problem, except the one... This one where we were doing the build testing, but once I dropped its build health down even more, like that's when I, it really became a, apparent. So those have got to go. It's in the description of my. Oh shit! I screwed my joint. Oh, what he fucked. Yeah, I saw we burn a house down there. Let's keep my eyes on that. Anyway. So, in the description of the previous video for Devil, um, 
I did explain that we're having this video to explain what to do and to take it out. I also explained for the low health building people that there was two block off changes. This one here and one more we're going to show next. But now, um, here it is. Here. So in our video, this one, I think, is like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move it like so and place another one right next to it the same way. And then after we do that, we're going to go ahead and place two dev stairs like this. We're going to go ahead and remove our floors and walls that are here. Okay. And you have another stair that's like doing something. I think it's like this. Take it out. Okay. And what you're going to do is right here next to your ramp go and place a stair. Like that. And another one a dev here okay. now some of you guys are like guys I can't get another guy in here for devs it's okay look okay you can X block them off bro alright you, you end up with a little less pushing, you know what I'm saying? But my guy, the host that got through here, for real though, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. And you got a tar pit right there, so the guy on the other side is still fucked. They'll try to phase through it, but it is what it is. So remember, go ahead. And you have an option for both of those. It's easy for me to make a dev, so I will. Now, same thing on this side. You're like, but lover, I ain't got devs, bro. I can't do it. It's fine. Look. Okay. Let me show you the way. Now... There you go. Alright. Easy peasy. If you get some husks on the side, add, add some add some arches, man. It'll stop them from doing all that shit. But just as effective. They're like, but but lover, I got a hus that beats on it. Bro. What are you doing? got this. Believe in yourself. Build. I teach you guys so that way you can be inspired to do what you want to do. Not because of what I tell you to do or because of what other streamer tells you to do. You want to build how you want to build. I just give you the tools. Just because I gave you a screwdriver doesn't mean I told you to build the car. I mean, I did, but I mean, you can fucking build the car however you want. But this really helps out. I'm going to make sure I got it all tiered up and put away. So you have many options for councils or however. Because I know some of you guys had some hard troubles getting into some of the discords and finding help. We got more people to, you know, to help out. So, you know, but there's not so much of a backlog. It doesn't take you sometimes up to four to eight hours. Some people were having to wait next day. And I get that. That that was rough. Um, so we opened up some some more Discord help and uh, to help you guys out with that. So help alleviate some of those problems. Now let's discuss some alternate pathing. Now here at the end, we went ahead and we placed two floors, and then we pushed on all the way over. 
which was right here, I think. So you're adding these three, I guess. But either way, all the floor launchers. Floor launchers. Can you imagine saying floor launchers, bro? Um, wall launchers, bro. They're double reload, five durability. Um, and the reason why we're getting away with that is our little walls. Um, I did have, on one of my test runs, a propane just fucking threw his shit at, like, one of these walls over here and blew up half this bridge. That was nasty, because as soon as that happened, they all walked through that. And I lost. And that was... It was annoying. Because I wasn't expecting that. Um, the AI of the propanes, the last couple updates, just... No damage. Just deciding. You know, straight cheating. But we didn't add anything special or spectacular underneath to make it smaller or harder. Uh, we wanted a nice, simple, easy fix. So, um, all durability tar pits and the, um, the launchers. The reason why it's so long is and during my testing, we were doing, again, no tech, no durability, no nothing, no wall health. And when I tested it, I didn't run any tar pits. I was just running the walls. And that's how many walls it was able to do for a wave. So if I were to run out late game, I knew I'd have enough. Um, I probably could get away with probably making it shorter somewhere in here. Um, but I don't need to. We had another guy um, who had some pus phasing through his uh, B block. You can actually... Um, he's not the only one. We had a guy in the comments just posted two days ago. Uh, so it's it's about every 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours, I get a guy who's like, Hey man, a propane just fucking phased through my block here. And the problem is, is that um, it broke this dev. So you get an option. You can put a poop spike down. Um, stop them. And then you have... The other issue of possible propane explosion. Um, you're more welcome to test this out. Most of it's probably dealing with the AFK spot, just like I'm AFK over there. They try to do the same shit. Um, I haven't had them phase through on me though, but uh, I have seen them phase through when I put a wall here. One of these spots. But I thought I seen them phase through it, but it turned out it is because I lost a dev too. Um, generally happens in low health or awkward AFK spots from being in the middle or at home or just a really bad case of fucking bad luck. <laughs> but um, I've ran a couple tests with this and uh, every time I put it down, I, I didn't really get hit over here. Like, the whole fucking run, I got hit one wave six, and it was on the fucking west. Ran again, same thing. You know, I took it out, and fucking got hit uh, five, six, 16, 26. And uh, on 26, um, they end up going and breaking this one. Um, but I think I was AFK in the middle during those runs. Uh, testing different AFK spots. So, this is an option. I currently am not going to run that option still um, until it becomes more prevalent for me. Um, but I do read your comments. I do see it as a possibility problem. Um, once it becomes a little bit more of an issue for people, uh, we'll work on it a little bit more. That is a current fix for it we'll see what that does um, another option is freezing uh, freeze traps do good but then you end up with a husk frozen halfway through it 
And if you have a hus that's phasing through a build, the other hus will try to follow its lead. So you can actually end up having a spillover. So we try to avoid those and try to have any hus that phase through to phase them through cleanly and efficiently. Quickly. Now, let's get to the part we are here for, and that's for the south. So, we've been working on this for a while now. Um, low building health, testing this place, and low tech was hell for Valley. Because um, we got an AFK UFO, right? And if it wasn't for... Um, I needed help. Um... So, I looked for some inspiration. Now, for me, um, Valley, originally, we were inspired off of White Streams. He's a good friend of ours. Um, loved this guy, guy. I mean, real smart, fucking amazing guy. And, you know, he was king of UFOing for the community. And um, he taught me a lot. And then they patched his ass. And uh, that sucked. Um, but so our good friend Robot Smoke, he came up with this uh, really amazing idea for Immortal Valley. Um, I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure if it was him, 100, but it he made it popular at least. And he's a good friend of mine. I'll have to clarify, get some clarification from him. Of, but I'm pretty sure it, either way, I mean, pretty sure it was him um, that made this quite popular. Um, but I don't want to be misquoted, but if I am, sorry, I'll clarify that later, but, you know, can't take back shit once you say it, you know, <laughs> so son of a fuck, but, um, this was a fun one, and believe it or not, it's not as complicated as it looks, um, we found this to be... Uh, not as complicated as Devil. Or about as complicated. It's going to be pretty fucked up. But um, we made it look a little bit more ET phone home, port of fort to throw uh, more homage to not only Hubo for all of his work. Um, we'll explain that one later, I don't guess. I don't know why people might not remember the door fort um maybe not everyone watches a1 videos but um and another one is for uh robot so we tried to keep the same like relative shape um for the most part but also fitting into our um theme you know so our robot valley you know we wanted to make it kind of look like an actual fucking robot the best we could uh i'll probably figure out how to give it some arms and shit but it reminds me of uh et and also like one of those little like little 80s drone movie they, i can't remember the fucking somebody's gonna say it they looked like little bomb disposal robots, but he was like an AI or some shit. I don't know. It's kind of like an old school Wally, -E, but like, you know, IRL, shitty CGI. Um, I don't know why we're talking about Wave 15. Let's get on to Wave 7. So, another inspiration we took was Hubo's Beach. Um, I've always been a fan of Hubo's Beach, and when we came into this alt. Um, to use it, we still had one of the leftover builds, um, you know, from Ollie's fucking, uh, pit build, and to Hubo's, uh, lava, and beach that was still here, even though they were patched, um, we decided to kind of bring it back and to follow the inspiration from that. Hubo's gonna be pissed because he's gonna say it's expensive, and I took something that he had cheaply and fucking added too much to it. I know. I don't want to fucking hear it. He's going to tell me something like I can get rid of this whole layer of fucking block off up top by doing something. And, you know, when he gets out of retirement, he can yell at me in the comments. And then we'll fucking, you know, 
fix it. But for right now, this is where we're at. I ran the fuck out of it. Um, my main got it pretty big, too. Um, I've been running it big for the last fucking year and a half, two years, so... I don't know. However long it's it's been, I've always ran mine a little bit big. Um, we did have block off on this side on ours, but to keep it in the theme of using the uh, flinger filters and shit uh, from the original build, um, we wanted to kind of keep that in line. So, we added some shit. Now, we got a build tutorial that we'll, we'll get on this one, and we'll gladly add it in. Um, this ramp is a godsend. Uh, make sure it's not connected and touching, otherwise they'll fuck that up. I found that out the hard way. Even though they don't really need it, because I found out that uh, if I added one more tar pit and pusher, I could, uh, I didn't even need that block off. But I really didn't like to play that game by having them walk this way, check out this block off, and then go ahead and move back. Um, we added this try to get rid of this um turns out to be the same it's one two three four five it actually costs more um to stop the flinger from throwing below here or getting stuck on that green tile right there and still throw so we kind of put them both in we're Still running more testing. I, I knock them out occasionally, but I have to do too many uh, runs. I can only get in like four a day. So I can't do too many of them. But we're trying to figure out how to cheapen it up. So we're going to eventually have, like, at the end of the year, update the world on like, how cheap we've knocked it down and efficient. But we're going to keep it that way um we added uh two more stairs to the original hebo video and added some uh tars and the reason why that is like i said when a husk spawns they throw before they start walking and you got one tap builds it hits it once it's gone so then the flingers or they broke broke one of these and they'll come up here and try to throw um rare but we go for solid so that's why it's here uh we'll try to shrink it up over time but that's what we got um inside the caves we just simply blocked them off um we haven't tore down any of this i think for our build video we're gonna go to our, like how our main's got a TP loop up here. Uh, this still from the original video will work fine. Um, we added a freeze trap here because I had a fucking flinger throwing here. So up. Um, we took out the ramp that was here and added floating tars. Um, this is wall light. I think it's, uh, it's one of these, I think. Um, added our fins in here. Um, since this wall can go, oops. This is, uh, these are double reloads. Two reload, two impact. Uh, or, yeah, um, two reload, two impact. To reload to impact um, to reload to impact I think on that one too I think this one's an all well should be an all durability to reload but I think we got uh, one or two two on uh, one impact one reload or some shit I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, we'll uh, We'll build a build video, and then I'll run it, and then, if it works, 
then I'll know I didn't miss an edit, and then I'll release the video. So, we'll check from there. Um, make notes. Another video we have coming out after this video is... Lava. Now, lava... Um, the amp design, we don't need this anymore. Um, we'll probably go with... Uh, archway and the lava. Um, we'll probably go with a more modern um, block off to get them to go into this. Uh, or, more importantly, maybe not even at all. And uh, just go with the block offs in the cave, which should be enough anyway. So. I might not even have that in our video. Um, so I might just go with two block off in there. X block. Standard V block. To an X block. Um, so, pretty easy. Um, we give a simple path right up here. Got some freeze traps. Um, nothing spectacular, just the direction. And underneath, we got, we all, um, yeah, two freeze trap as well. And then this one's a tar pit. Oh, you can see it when you look down. Sweet. And then, uh, I think that's... Three on two, three impact, two reload. Drops them right here. And this one, same thing. Uh, three impact, two reload. Pushes them down here. And we got the one block off. And then the dev stair in front of it. Um, and then tar pit. And this one is all durability to reload. And that, this one, sh I think, should be all the same. This one is not right now, but it should be. In the build video, we'll end up making um, I'll probably end up making this one all durability. One reload, and then this one two reload. Uh, this one is two on two, two impact, two reload, two durability, knocks them right here. And then this one is two impact, two durability, two reload. And then this one's three, three impact, two reload. And uh, that pushes them down and gets them out of the way. Hill. We, oh, sorry, for lava as well, we blocked off hill with a P block and a B block above it. Now, we didn't block off this one, so we didn't need to. Because that way is still shorter for them, and they'd rather take that. So, for this, they just come up. And they're blocked off. We went ahead and campfired one, two, three campfires, and then a nice little floor. Um, dropped a couple anti airs on each pillar for propanes. I think I got an X block over here. Stop anything from coming around. Um, Freeze traps. Stop our flingers. 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 Go P block with a cave block there. And then we went ahead and connected our bridge for our bridge amplifier. Um, we added a pusher for our pit and hill. This could 
fucked up in wave 30, but by then it doesn't matter. This just recycles any Haas throwing around our loop. Cut down on, uh, on that. Basically, do that too. Oh, I didn't, but just all durability to reload. Push him down. Uh, let me tear that up. And then, right off of, uh, up to inside, and then it made a bridge. All durability to reload. Fins. Two impact. Two on two, two impact to reload, two durability, and I think this one's three on two. Maybe they both are, who knows. And then, I went ahead and made a little thing before I was running it up on here I think in one of my tests the damn boss just kept fucking hitting this so I moved it back to bring our bosses into the loop uh, we were one tap build that's why it's so big but we're gonna run make it smaller hey Hey. There we are. So, made a bridge there. That and it gives the uh Huss a path to the amplifier. Um and that covers our um hill. Whee! Alright, let's go over bridge. Now, bridge, right? Um, something tells me I'm... I should have a wall here. Let me find out why. Yeah. Because it's less... Having two is less than three. Okay, so... I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Just right there. And that's just for a walking flinger. I kind of forgot all about him. But I know he's a real thing over the years, so... Where I end up with some fucking random problem. And then not only that, this bitch is not going to be adding in any build video. So rip anybody who doesn't watch this one. Because I'll forget I even placed it. Um, bridge is a very easy amplifier. Uh, just E block, B block. RBB. Fucking dev. Whatever you want. Block them from coming up. Uh, P block this ramp. Just go ahead and make a path for them. Okay. Um, same thing. Just, you know, this one's probably three on two. The rest of them, and he's going to be like all their ability to reload. Um, space rocks are a bitch. One tap. You're going to want at least these two anti-airs here. I added these two and these two on the sides because of fucking low build health. They uh, aren't really needed, but I used them. A big meteor can take out these two last little builds right here. So I recommend um, adding a little extra um,
Just a tad extra. Now, for me, I'm gonna go ahead and take out a couple there. Adam. Up here. Now, this should help my big meteor. But even then, the big meteor can still go through all that, depending on your, your, your fucking building health. But, um, hopefully this will hold. This should, this should definitely, definitely hold. Good night, Pepe. Anyway. So, we definitely want to add some sort of extra protection here in the event of um, Big Meteor, which is very common on this side. Um, they're also very common on this block off, which is why we haven't bothered to, like, you know, P-block it off and whatnot. But there's no point, because it's going to get hit. But we need it here, and this will help um, alleviate those issues. I've been running it cheap for a while, just so I can see where the big meteors are. If they, uh, I was real worried about getting one over here, but I haven't seen one, so I'm really happy. The only spots I've been getting them that have been hitting anything that could possibly be an issue would be here and here, so not too worried about it. Um, I don't know if flingers can go through B block. I haven't seen it, but if that ever happens, the uh, flinging spot for over here is this. Um, these spots, that'll get taken out. I usually have that as a wall dart, but these are, these two, very rarely here. It's actually this tile that they come to, which sometimes they could like nick this much and nick this much, but this is their, their dwelling area, so if you don't mind wasting two extra traps um, it's a good spot for a freeze I've yet to see it but now you guys got me fucking paranoid no, I got myself paranoid but in the event I'm gonna go ahead and put one non paranoid you guys got me straight paranoid um, but yeah that's the entire update that's everything um, 